he was a beloved man who changed youth culture forever. But earlier this year, the world received news that Dick Clark had tragically lost his life, and it was from a heart attack. Born Richard Wagstaff Clark in Bronxville, New York, his name would become synonymous with rock and roll. Dick Clark quickly rose from the mailroom at his uncle's TV station to national fame with his show, American Bandstand. When American Bandstand finally ended, Clark was just getting started. He became a successful TV producer, restauranteur, and hosted a variety of programs. But in 2004, Clark had a stroke that left him unable to speak clearly. In 2012, doctors performed a routine surgery to fix an enlarged prostate. But unfortunately, his heart just wasn't strong enough, and the music icon suffered a fatal heart attack the next day. Dick Clark was 82 years old. And, you know, it's one of those tragic things where heart attacks, just like aortic dissections, they can occur so very suddenly. In Dick Clark's case, he had gone in for prostate surgery, and the heart attack reportedly occurred after that surgery had taken place. And as men get older, we tend to get enlarged prostates. It's just a fact of life. If you live long enough, you're going to get an enlarged prostate. And when you look, what you can see is that the prostate surrounds the urethra, which of course sends urine from your bladder out your body. And when it's enlarged, you can no longer urinate properly. So Dick went in for a, a transurethral prostatic resection. Very commonly done procedure. And the good thing, no incisions, no external cutting. It's all done as the name says, with a scope that you put through the, the penis and the urethra, you insert that, let's say, so you're passing it through the penis, the urethra, and let's say the apple is his prostate, he goes in, we go in there, and you're able to core that out to remove that, uh, that enlarged, benign, in his case, prostatic tissue. 